crowd who was run back seventh or eighth in the race won by Vessinghauger from Yifta. So Ripple lead looks to see who's there and Yifta follows. Pitt Simons is Australian in third place. Fourth is Abramov. And Abramov this wrong but Russian got uh, good form over 1500 meters as well and led the Russian 1500 meter rankings last year with a 337. With little or no form over 5,000 metres until this year, and clearly he's one of their big men they're building up for the Games next year. That's Abramov in the red vest of Russia, wearing number 211. The problem is, though, that the race was so tactical and slow in the early stages, it's not a true test. 66 seconds for the last lap, and really they're on around a 14-minute schedule at the moment. Three laps to go, and by East Germany. Kunz is a fast finisher, we know. Ripple's a fast finisher. He'll realise the importance of the point. And indeed, they've got the big scoreboard. They're facing it now, and they can see how close it is in terms of the match position. But of course, as well, we've still got to add in the long jump, and we've also got to add in the men's shot. Plus the final track event, the 4 by 400 Ripple keeps having a look back. Dunning is entirely comfortable as the pacemaker. It's not a role we've seen him take on very often. And the applause you can hear is not for the athletes on the track, but for Debbie Drill, who's just passing in front of the main stadium with the other girl high jumping. Two laps to go. Sandrovic has just come through to pressurize Riffle. Matt Sandrovic. Used to be at the University of Oregon. He's shown good form this year. He's got a 13.21. And he's a 3.59 miler. But undoubtedly, it's going to be left for the fast finishes. Two and a half laps to go. And one wonders whether somebody will go from a long way out and really test them. And that somebody has answered straight away, Abramov of Russia. It's not just going to be the short sprint finish, the mad dash over the last 300, because Abramov now taking them on fairly quickly from a lap and three quarters out. In fact, uh, they had uh, changed the lap marker there because the Indian was so far behind. They've got uh, less than we thought to go, and this time it is the bell. Abramov leads for Russia. Yipster in second place. Third is Gomez of the Americas. Ripple of Europe fourth. Quinza, East Germany 5, Centrovich, United States 6, and Pitt Simons lost the speed. Just over 300 to go, the Russian lead, and he's still tracked by the fast finishing African, Yipta. And Ripple goes up on the outside, there goes Yipta. And Yipta, the shifter, trying to do it once more. He did it in the 10,000, but now Abramov follows, with 200 to go, and he's had to let him go. And the amazing pace of this African in his mid-30s, told the story once more. He waited, he looks easy, and he's coming home to complete a notable double. First the 10, and now the 5. So, maximum points for Yipta and Africa. Russia in second place, Europe third, East Germany fourth. Yipta wins. Abramov second. Ripple third. Kunza fourth. Gomez five. Centrovic six. Oceania seventh through David Fitzsimon. And nearly a lap back causing some confusion with the lap marker is the Indian Sinai. The time at 13.35, so it goes, goes to show how fast they were over the last 800. In fact, the last lap was run in 53 seconds. And that is quite astounding. And I suspect thing that Abramov took them from a lap and a half out, but the last 800 was probably inside two minutes. But who can afford to play games with this African? He's not going to make the pace for you. He's going to wait. He followed the pace of the 10,000. He's done it again in the five. And his finishing speed is quite astonishing. Abramov second and Ripple third. And there was some talk earlier, David, that there was going to be a presentation for the best individual in these championships. There's not much doubt as to who'll get it as far as the men are concerned. And I would think that their vote must go to Evelyn Ashford as far as the women are concerned. But this double-double in World Cup Athletics to Mirajivta.
is a really tremendous performance. Of course, uh, he uh, won this World Cup two years ago in Dusseldorf. And one can only wonder what he might have done in the Olympic Games. Abramoff had made the break, but there was no way he could get away. Ripple here for a moment. Had you have to box if he got outside him. But this African knows so much about the job, he wasn't going to let Ripple come up to his shoulder and close him in behind the Russian. So he burst through the two, and he certainly got the speed. Well, as you get older, they say you get stronger and more mature, you can run longer distances, and you lose your basic speed. But here's a man in his mid-30s, we'll put it at its best, whose basic speed is really quite remarkable. And what can even the Viren, the Fosters, do about him next year? Because the problem is getting rid of him. And yet, having said that, Hessinghager in the Zurich 5000 took him on on the last lap and beat him. But it's, that's not going to happen very often. 